Hey there. Today we're going to talk about Key 2, I think it's Key 2, Super Coffee. And we got some great things to say and some things you ought to be uh, aware of before you uh, go uh, head first into this new product. Hey there, njroot22.com here with a product review, overview. It's called Key 2 Super Coffee. Key 2, I think it's Key 2, Key 2, I mean like they, they can't just come up with regular names anymore. You never know how to pronounce it. I'm gonna call it Key 2. Key 2, Key 2. It bugs the hell out of me when they use these odd names. But anyway, we found this product at uh, ShopRite. It's Super Coffee. And we don't watch TV, but apparently they were a big hit on Shark Tank, some television show that is watched by a lot of people. It's a combination TV show, maybe a real business and some marketing, I, I, I don't know. But they were apparently uh, well regarded in, uh, in this TV show called uh, Shark Tank. And Super Coffee is a basically a coffee drink made with organic coffee beans and they have uh, no sugar. Uh, they're very low in carbs and they add protein, whey protein to it. And the, the sweetened version, like I'm holding one right now, the sweetened version is sweetened, sweetened with monk fruit, which has been said to have no effect on your blood sugar levels. Thus, that's why it doesn't have any carbs or very little carbs. Uh, and they also have a couple other things. They, besides their coffee, they have uh, creamer, uh, various creamers and they're good alternative to like coffee made or any other kind of like ridiculous plant-based uh, soy or almond milk creamer and they also have little small cans of uh, espresso uh, both flavored and unflavored now just for the purpose of this quick video I have tried two of their products I have not tried their uh, creamer or their espresso I, I'm interested in the espresso but I, I reckon it won't be much different than the coffee. You know, if you want to make an Americano out of it, you can. Um, well, before I tell you about the products that I tried and my opinions about them, um, I think, just to get this out of the way, I think this is a pretty darn good uh, alternative to most energy drinks out there. Uh, I think most energy drinks are BS, especially the sugary ones, and the, most of the non-sugary uh, ones have bad sugar in them. Um, they're not sweetened with uh, erythritol or, or xylitol or monk fruit. But let's get back to, uh, so if you're looking for an energy drink and you're not on any kind of special diet, the Super Coffee will be your, uh, I think, go-to option going forward uh, this year. But I tried two, they had it at ShopRite, only the Super Coffee I saw. This doesn't require refrigeration, whereas the creamer does. So this was out sitting in the bread section somewhere. And I bought the unflavored, I mean, unsweetened, unflavored one, which had no added uh, artificial or, or non-sugar sugar. It had no monk fruit. It was zero carbs. And I tried this one, this mocha, mocha flavored, which has monk fruit in it. I think it's only monk fruit. Can't really, a natural flavor and cocoa powder and all this other stuff. But the unsweetened one I made the way I normally make a coffee, just uh, unsweetened and I put a little uh, uh, heavy cream in it and I drank it and it was good. It was okay, it didn't knock my uh, socks off. It wasn't a very powerfully flavored coffee drink. It didn't really taste too much like coffee. Uh, but the, I guess the protein aspect of it is a, is a good thing and the fact that it had zero carbs, it's a good thing. See, the thing is, these things are $3 uh, a bottle at, uh, at ShopRite. And I think you can get them on, on their website. They're $39 for a case of 12 plus shipping. So it ends up being almost $4 per bottle. Keep that in mind in a minute. And I also tried this mocha one, which tasted sweet, but even though it's not sweet according to your body. Um, the unsweetened one I liked because I drank it like my uh, normal coffees. I took a few sips, put it down, didn't think about it. And if you watch my last two videos or in the last couple weeks, I've been talking about the sweet sensation, the taste of sweet things in your mouth, regardless if it's real sugar, bad sugar like uh, aspartame or good sugars or good sweeteners like uh, erythritol, xylitol, and monk fruit. Something happens to your body that 
like I when I drank this this mocha one, I sucked it down. I couldn't stop drinking it. And I believe that's the, one of the negative effects of sweet tastes in your mouth. It, it I think it tricks your body into be like for a microsecond becoming like parched and really thirsty. And I, I drank I added ice and, and cream to it, but I drank like a, almost a quart of this in like seconds. I sucked it down like a, that Nestle Quick Rabbit did in those commercials back in the day, <laughs> right down to the to the bottom. And to to me, that's unnatural. And I believe that's and I'm going to stick to this until someone can prove it otherwise. That the sweet sensation of these drinks makes you imbibe fluids faster and I, I remember that that sensation quite uh, dramatically I, back in the day I used to be addicted to diet beverages diet Arizona tea was my favorite for one summer and I think I filled up my Jeep my Jeep Wrangler with it and I bought like 20 cases or 40 cases and I ended up smashing one of the windows I jammed so many Arizona iced teas into my car and I would drink them like these quart size cans and I would suck them down almost faster than I could possibly drink water. And I remember that feeling with sna diet Snapple teas and, and diet Dr. Peppers and diet Pepsis and diet Cokes. Um, it made me drink faster than, than I normally would drink a water or a regular unsweetened coffee. And that bugs me, I don't like that. Even though this wasn't bad sugar and monk fruit for the time being is, is considered non-threatening to your uh, insulin levels or your, your blood sugar levels, I, I don't like the feeling of, of this, this unstoppable urge to, to drink fluids. And that only happens when I put sweet tastes in my mouth, or especially the artificial sweet taste. I can't remember dr wanting to drink uh, Kool-Aid like that as a kid. Maybe, maybe, maybe it is sweets in general. But so what I would recommend is for this super coffee, for anyone, I, I mean, if you want to get the flavored ones, do it at your own risk. But if you want to trust me on this one, Get the unsweetened versions of all their products. They have unsweetened uh, creamer, unsweetened coffee, and I believe they have a plain unsweetened uh, espresso one as well. However, I want to talk about the price again. I'm gonna end the video in a minute or two. I like this, but the way I drink coffee, this, let's say I drink three uh, quarts of coffee a day, this would end up costing me nearly $10 a day. That's $300 a month I would pay for having my little coffee habit uh, for the coffee part of it, not including cream. Um, right now, my coffee habit costs me about $6 a month because I use Aldi brand instant coffee and it's fine for me and, and you can knock me. It just says it contains plain coffee. And so I, one uh, canister lasts me two weeks, it's $2.95. So for $5.90, I get a month of coffee drinking. Um, $5.90 versus $300, I, I can't see this becoming a regular in my routine. It's nice that it's available. If I'm ever out and about and wanna treat myself, I may buy an unsweetened version of this just to have on the road or as a little treat. Oh, I forgot to mention. <laughs> MCT oil, this contains MCT oil, which is a really good thing. And that's probably part of the reason why it's a lot more expensive. MCT oil is really, really a good energy source. And it's also good for digestion. If you take it in the morning, um, it'll clear you out like a, uh, like a roto-rooter. Um, MCT oil is quickly uh, processed by the liver. It doesn't uh, raise your, uh, your levels of anything bad. It, I think it just completely bypasses your digestive system and just goes straight into your, uh, uh, the liver just processes it right away. I forget the exact reason, but that's what makes this drink. I should have mentioned that in the beginning. Maybe I'll, I'll reshoot my uh, intro for this, but, uh, but I would stick to the unsweetened ones. The, the, the flavored ones did have a slight artificial taste, uh, even though it's monk fruit, um, but, I'm still happy they, they came out because it's about time uh, something that wasn't entirely detrimental to your health came out. And that's it. I, I recommend it, but I, I, uh, only if you can afford it. And I would say stay away from the sweet ones and uh, you'll be okay. Have a nice week.